To make a rose, the only thing you really need is a cake like this one, which is a cry of a line cake called Christmas. Um, I'm actually not gonna use the red in that one. I'm gonna use the one that I made myself. This one's got white, neon, pink, and red. And the other thing you need is your Wolf or Diamond FX white. So to start off, you're going to take your one inch flat brush and you're gonna load it up with your red, white, and pink cake. The most important thing for making roses, you can do them any color you want, but it has to have white on the edge. So you can make blue roses, you can do any mixture you want as long as there is white on the edge and a dark color at the other end. All right, so now that you've got your brush loaded up there, to start off, you're gonna put the, the white part is gonna be your edge, and you're gonna make one fingernail shape right there, just like that. It's just a upside down U shape. Then you're gonna come up and make a right side up U shape that overlaps it. So just like this. Some people call that the bucket. So this is gonna be the core of your rose. From here, you're gonna flatten out your brush one more time and make some backwards C like that. Fill that in if you miss any spots with your edge. And you're gonna do another one right on the other side. Come around and just keep making those. I usually add about two on each side and then one that kinda connects the two, just like that. So that's your basic rose part. Now you're going to use a slightly smaller brush. This is probably not quite half as small as the one inch. All right, you're gonna load this one up with your green cake if you have one. Just as long as one of the greens is lighter and one is darker, it's gonna look really good. Now you're going to wiggle for your leaf. So we're gonna set that one at an angle coming out right below between those two little petals there. We're gonna wiggle one, two, and three, kind of flick out, and then wiggle back. One, two, maybe three, to give it a little shape there. That's gonna be one leaf. And then once more, you can place this anywhere you like. I usually try and do it kind of opposite of where the other leaf is. And you're gonna do the same thing. Wiggle one, two, and up flick. Then back down one, two, like that. Fill in any missing spaces with the little edge of your brush there. You can also give it a little middle with the other end. This would be a good time to add glitter if you wanted to add glitter. And you can be done right now if you needed to do this in under a minute but I like to go over the edges with a little bit of white using my liner brush, which is a low Cornell number four. And I like to make a little circle in the well like that, a little swirly, and then follow with a little bit of a wiggle and a flick around these edges. Just gives it a little bit more of an outline, makes it a little fancier. Just like that, give it a little press down, wiggle and flick. And you can also add some little dew drops to it here. So I do one, two, three there, maybe a couple right there. That looks awesome. And then as usual, I like to add my little stars to it as well to help fill up that space. And there you have it, a very fast and cool rose. Thank you again for watching this tutorial on roses. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.